Hey guys, I'm bringing you this really cool game. I think, uh, I think you'd enjoy it. It's, it's called Star Trader. It's a bit of an older one. Um, I love this producer, and it's. I'll start a brand new. I started it. I'll start a brand new game for you guys. Basically, let's choose a captain. Let's go hero. Yui's name. Difficulty. Let's go. No, well, let's just go normal. <laughs> Uh, um, because I, I paid for the stats as far as um, you can buy traits you can I, I bought this game a while back ago this is the paid for version and I can do custom design you can do special options you can create you can basically explore the galaxy pick a ship design look at that that's so cool So, if you did pay for it, you can uh, customize your haul, you can customize just about everything you want here. Uh, otherwise, you start with the basic basic ship here. You can get to pick the kind of the kind that it is. Oops. Hero. You pick a faction. They all have different advantages, different trade wars. Um, you can... Let's see, uh, I still give me a Star Trek and all the things you can be a merchant. Um, Explorer. See? Different stats. Smuggler. Different professions, different everything. So let's just get a quick game going here. Skip all. So, basically. You have this vast open world that you can take a quick look at, different factions, you can see where you're starting at. This is your world. To explore all the inhabitable planets. It's really neat. Uh, <clears throat> for instance, if I went here, and let's say I could check my status, uh, training, add points different places, you can level your person up, your, your ship, you're, you're, you get you can either uh, it's, let's go with blockade real quick here. Gotta watch your food supply, water supply down there since I'm all out now. Let's go here and dock into the urban area. Let's go to the exchange and buy some water. Complete transaction, luxury goods. You have to you have people on your ship. And you get to buy, sell. Let's go sell. Oh, well, no, no, I don't want. That's buying. So, <clears throat> go to the palace. Sir, let's go with that. And go back in here. This is basically your bar. You can look for rumors. Go back, and they take you to special places if you read them. Uh, you can recruit members, but right now you don't need to. But let's go right here real quick. So here, get the spice hall, recruit. And I believe the special symbol, the terrain, you can actually. Oh, looks like we have an encounter. And you are as a freight and a. Basically, if you can battle stations. Torpedo, torpedo, advance. All right, so it looks like I've destroyed the hull, so I can't take the ship. So usually you can take their ship, enslave, take their cargo, take everything. But in this case, I destroyed the hull, so that means you destroyed everything. The thing blows up, more or less. Let's go to the wild. You can explore, send out the whole crew can be dangerous. Let's see here, one artifact, take all. Alright, water is four, so let's go again, back, explore, explore the surface. I found, take all four artifacts, we're gonna go back, back. We need, <coughs> now we need some more water here. I should have just stayed over there, but... 
Mm. Just ignore. <coughs> Exchange. And it looks like they don't buy art. <coughs> Engine repairs. Palace. You can buy promotions. Promote your rank. Trade permit. Buy the per you gotta buy your contracts. Then you can go to the exchange. And we can sell them the artifacts. You can customize your ship in any way that you'd like. Design a ship. New class, how you how you want to, the hull size. You know, of course it's gonna cost you money. So this game is really cool and it's really enjoyable. You get to run into aliens. Um, they have some massive payloads if you ever find one. But they're also extremely difficult to fight off as well. So as far as the questing goes, uh, contracts. Okay, let's go pick up a contract. No, let's go back. Palace, contract. This one will pay you 7,000. Let's accept it. Contract taken. And before you head off to your contract, let's get some supplies. Recruit. Spice Hall, we already did that actually. But you can also, like, entertainment. You can see, I've entertained the crew, you know, the morale. And we're, ah, gotta go to the exchange and buy some water. Let's go stock up. And we are going to go by pushing the button that takes you straight to your quest line. <coughs> it's a standard pirate shuttle. So we're going to go battle stations, torpedo, guns, uh, let's go forward dual and looks like I might be able to take their ship so take the cargo take all rearm if I wanted to take this ship I could but I'm not enslave and we're going to destroy the ship ignore done uh, ignore So the spice hall again, temp job, the assassination request, battle stations. So that's basically the gist of it. It's a really fun 2D game. I think you'd enjoy it if you. And this is also offline, very important offline game. It gets really in interactive. Your log, your history. And this game has really done a lot of good things you also have your options which this can get into massive details on how you want to play your game there's so much that you can do as far as this customization within your own game so take a look at it it's really fun and then <clears throat> you can review your rumors just the factions but it's a, it's a game beyond itself I think I think if you gave it a shot, I think you'd find it very rewarding. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick review on Star Trader. I hope you find it enjoyable.